character lesson this week is um, leadership. And when we talk about leadership, the idea that we're trying to get across to the kids is that when we make things better for everyone, then we're part of everyone, and it makes it better for us too. And the quote we're using to help sort of get that message glued in their mind is a rising tide lifts all the ships. And so if you could imagine, you know, there are a bunch of ships and they're, they're docked in port, and when the tide comes in, all the boats rise. And as the tide goes out, obviously, all the boats go back down again. So a rising tide lifts all the ships. If I make things better for everyone, then they're better for me too. Flip side of that, if I make things crummy for anybody, then it's crummy for everybody, and then it gets crummy for me too. And so fit throwing, being stubborn, a lot of passive aggressive behavior um, works against kids, and they don't always see that. So we want to call that to their attention. If they can make things better for everybody, which genuinely is positive leadership, then they win. And if they make things crummier for other people, which essentially is negative leadership, then they're hurting themselves as well. So that lesson is intended to call their attention to that. The safety lesson this week is no secrets. And the, the, there are two prongs to this. One is obviously people who do things that aren't okay to children don't want to get caught because they know that they're not supposed to be doing what they're doing and they will often ask children to make it a special secret. And we feel that it's important for kids to know not only if someone does one of those five kinds of dangerous people things that they need to get out of there, but they also need to let other adults know um, because uh, it makes it easier for adults to go get the, the dangerous person and, and take care of it. And it prevents that dangerous person from moving on to the next child because you know we know that offenders don't have a different plan, they just have a different victim. And, and so our kids are sharp kids, they have this information. Other kids may not, other kids may be a little more naive. And so it's part of our responsibility to make sure that we notify the appropriate people to take action so that a, a dangerous person doesn't have an opportunity to cause a problem for another child. So, um, leadership lesson is a rising tide lifts all the ships, and our safety lesson is no secrets. A few other things I wanted to touch base on. We're going back to school. I know a lot of us don't always feel that way. We, we'd like summer to linger a little longer. I would suggest you start adjusting your body and the kids' bodies to a schedule that's more like school. And so getting up a little earlier, going to bed a little earlier, starting to moderate those meals so that those first few weeks of school, the kids aren't in a haze just because they aren't properly rested. And if you start now inching up that wake-up time, wake them up 10 minutes earlier each day, then you'll be back to the regular school schedule in pretty smooth and painless fashion. If you wait to the last minute, it, it's going to be unpleasant for all of you. Also, um, don't try to put them to bed earlier because they won't sleep. Uh, just wake them up earlier. And then if we progressively wake them up earlier, then they wind up falling asleep earlier with, with less aggravation. Also on the, the back to school vein, I know a lot of schools have a back to school open house either right before or right after school starts. I'd love to help out with that if at all possible. Um, there are two ways we can do that. One is we bring out a table and we bring out the prize wheel and we spin and kids win pencils and bookmarks and, and you know they get to break a board maybe. So just kind of a fun adds to the carnival atmosphere at the back to school. The other thing is I'd, I'd be happy to provide uh, mom food classes if, if that fits for anybody and those can be shorter or longer. And obviously those mom food classes don't necessarily have to be tied into an open house, although sometimes that's a good opportunity to um, introduce the idea. Um, also as we go back to school, settling back into school, new kids, um, pecking order stuff comes up which becomes bully stuff. And uh, for whatever reasons, bullying is a pretty hot topic um, right now. And we've got a very nice, compact, effective um, bully protection clinic that I offer as a free community service. So um, anybody wants to help out, make those connections, talk to principals, counselors, teachers, anybody who's involved, um, you know, please make those contacts for me and let me know because I provide that as a free, we'll see you class.